Hey there. I know what you're thinking. What are you doing? This thing works perfect. Well, I want a new one. So I got one. Continue. What's going on everybody? James with That's Right Lawn Care. Green touch blower racks. I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. You know what else I like? Camo. Green touch has released a camo series rack for those of you who know about it. They've got camo racks. And I wanted one, so I got one. This thing is beautiful, awesome. So I'm gonna be taking one of those racks off. I've got a buddy who was kind of curious about the Green Touch racks, and I told him about the uh, the app, and he's got on the app, and he's looked around for them. I decided I wanted one of the camo racks. I told him I'd sell him one of the old racks, and uh, just kind of hooked him up with it. So I'm already, I've already started taking this one off. I'll go ahead and get this one on too. I've got some other goodies in here, but we'll get to that here in a little while. I figured if I was going to order something, I might as well order a couple of things. So I'm going to try and get this done tonight. We've only got like that much daylight left. Probably an hour, hour and a half. But I'm going to go ahead and try and get this put on pretty quick. At least get the blower rack put on. Seeing I'm taking it off, I'm going to try and go ahead and get it on. Uh, so let's let's work on that for a minute. Alright guys, so this is my first time ever ordering anything from uh, Green Touch. It's got a little pad. You take these uh, adhesive things off and it will stick to that after you get it bolted on. So I went ahead and ordered the line spool holder. The trimmer line. It's, it, it mounts anywhere, so they can put it on the mower, I don't know. Probably not on the mower. My old blower rack. The tube holders, have, they're just old, so I'm replacing those. Now they're going to send you two tops. So this is, as you can see, this is the bigger one. And then they've got one for like a smaller blower that doesn't have the big air filter on the top of it. So here's the bigger one. This is the one that we're going to be using for the uh, 7500, 8500. Well, this the camo one's actually going to be dedicated to the 8500. And here is the back of it. So of course, we're going to have to take this off, put the bigger one on. But we'll do that when we get to... To that point, and we're mounting it up. You've got your set of keys. So I'm gonna have to check and see if these are compatible with uh, the locks on the trimmer racks. But easy. And it locks. Man, look at that camo. Look how good that looks. And then of course you got your bolts and the tube holder also for the new rack. So guys, let's not waste any daylight. Let's try and get this thing hooked up. So as y'all can tell, I've already got holes drilled. Uh, I'm gonna need to wall them out just a little bit though. Make sure those bolts fit through there. Good. Line those right up, just perfect as can be. Drop the new bolts through. Now, of course, if you if you didn't have a, I'm gonna get down there. Now, of course, if you didn't previously have a blower rack on your trailer 
you'd have to drill out your holes. And that's easy as marking them, punching them, drilling them. Pretty simple. I don't think there's any need to explain that to some of y'all. Some of y'all I don't know though. All right, we got that on there pretty tight. That's good. Um, look, this thing wobble, wobble, wobble. This thing's on there tight. I'm gonna have to go through and uh, well, if I got if I have any spare bolts, I'll uh, tighten that one up too. All right, so this is a height adjustable. So what I need to do is I've already got well the other one set up for the 8500. So what I'm gonna do is just match up that one with this one right quick. And it looks like we go to the top, all the way up. All right, so that was easy enough. Next thing we're gonna do is put on this tube holder. So we'll just put our bolt through there. Pretty simple. And there we go. Goes on just as simple as that. So our next task, of course, is gonna be swapping this out with the bigger one, just like this one, so that our blower will fit in there it's got the big air filter this is for the uh, smaller blowers with the smaller with, with that doesn't have the air filters on top so that's gonna be our next task we're gonna grab the keys I'm gonna see if my old keys will actually unlock the new one and if so that would be awesome and I have like eight keys okay so I've got like eight keys that'll work Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, buddy. Look, do you see it? Mm-hmm. Can you see it? Yes. You can see it? Yes. It's camouflage. You shouldn't be able to see it. I guess it's not doing its job. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, and uh, they'll actually send you a little Allen wrench. There are some Allen nuts right here. You just loosen those up. Now, this is only, of course, if you're going to be using the bigger blower. Those things just pop off and they actually send you um, two extras so when you do the bottom one it will fall just go ahead and hold it so there we go and that's off and we'll grab our bigger one Hey Max, you can be out here, but you gotta be quiet, okay? <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Big one is on, set, ready to go. It, uh, I feel like it needs to be bent in just a little bit. And that's the good thing about this metal is you can kind of bend it you to go where you want to go. Perfect. And pretty much the final step. You get your little pad that goes down in here. So all you need to do, take this red plastic film off. And this is your adhesive tape double-sided tape that's on the bottom of this fill it off so you got a pretty clean area it doesn't have to be spotless this thing's gonna be sitting outside anyways and just kind of give it a little press down there we have it
All right, one more thing you're going to have to do, and this is depending on what kind of tube you got. Like I said, this metal is pretty thin, so it's easy to work with. You can kind of contour it to the shape of your blower tube, however big you need it to be. So, just kind of spread it out, get it to where you need it. And there you go, simple as that. All right guys, I'm gonna give you all a quick story behind the, uh, the what got me into these blower racks. So about a year, year and a half ago, um, I was doing a yard and all I had was a uh, open trailer. I put my trimmer and my blower in the back of my truck. And for this particular yard, I had them sitting on the trailer so the blower and the trimmer was on the trailer. So I had gone around and I'd mowed the yard. I grabbed my trimmer and I started to trim everything up. As soon as I got back, I couldn't find my blower. Now I've already done a couple of yards that day so I knew I had my blower with me. When I got back and I realized that that blower wasn't there, um, you know, I, I walked over to the next door neighbor's house to see if they had a camera. Um, my customer did not have a camera. So I walked over there, I was like, hey ma'am, do you have a camera? I just had something stolen off the back of my truck. She said, no, she didn't. So uh, after that, I called the police, I uh, filed a police report um, to tell them that I had a blower stolen off of my trailer. Luckily I did have, um, from where I bought the blower, they keep everything on file. So I was able to go up there and check and get the, get the number and everything, the serial number off of it. And this is actually the blower that was stolen. After it was stolen, I knew I had a couple more yards to do for the day, so I actually went up and picked up this 8500. And I'm happy that I did because leaf season came around and it was definitely a big help. But getting back to the story, um, this was around the time that I'd hooked up with Nick with Saving Green and you know became pretty good friends with him. And uh, I actually met him up at the up at his church property that he cuts, and I'd helped him a little bit, and um, you know I was. I was still kind of new in business, didn't really have, I had a lot a lot of free time. So whenever I got finished with the day, I'd try and help him out. It was around the time that he didn't have any help. So he was definitely needing some help and I was able to help him at that time. So I told him the story about what happened. You know, it was around that time. It was like a couple of days before that blower was stolen. All I had was the 8500. This was still floating around somewhere. Nobody really knew where it was at. Long story short on that, we found it at a pawn shop. And I was talking to Nick, I was like, man, I really like the blower racks. I was, I'd never really seen them. I've never really looked at them or anything like that. I said, these things are awesome. He's like, he's like, you know what? He said, I've got an extra one that you can have. He just let me have it. Like, oh my goodness, <laughs> a blower rack. I was amazed. I was, I was I was so happy. I, as soon as I got home, I put that thing on. I was so excited to have that blower rack. Um, but that's the story about how I came across these uh, Green Touch blower racks, the BPS 100s. It was a great story. I enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed the story behind the blower racks. But. but guys, we got it on. We got it hooked up. It is solid. I love how they. This is one of the first versions where it doesn't have the spring on it. So if you get to bouncing down the road, it'll come open and then this will come open. And luckily, the blowers never come out. But I'll probably end up getting another one of these next year. It probably won't be the camo series, of course, but I'll see if they've got something different. If not, I'll buy one and spray paint it whatever color I want. Just like I did with the trimmer racks over here. So yeah, I spray painted them flat black and uh, just from wear and tear, you can see it's already starting to come off. But that's no big deal. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'll probably do this install on another video, not just by itself or anything like that. But I did want to give a huge shout out to Green Touch. Their equipment I have definitely enjoyed using. Um, it's been a lifesaver when you can just come over here, lock it. They're locked. And if y'all haven't already, if you've got a smartphone, Android, you know what I'm talking about. Get on, download the app, Green Touch Industries, TrailerRacks.com. They've got a full line of all of their products on there. 
And of course you can't forget the sure cage for the sure cans. This is a, this is perfect. I mean it's so easy to drip fuel, put it up. And I usually leave that off till the end of the day. But anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you like the content, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect.